G'day there, Uncle Jojo here, Bow Wolf Builders. Great to see you all again. Today we're looking at foundations. We've done a couple of videos on different foundations around the place. Um, today we've got a class H2 site. Um, it's a high reactive site. It's pretty much a, a big problem um, site. So what we've done is we've set up a strip footing for our brickwork and then we've put piers underneath that and it allows it to to move slightly but still digs it straight into the soil so it can't move too much. Um, step this way and I'll show you. Here we've got a strip footing that's down at 1.7 all the way through and then all the way through here you can see we've got pier holes and they go all the way down. So this strip footing we've got a brick pier that runs all the way down this side here and these are our footing holes drilled all the way through. They're a 450 hole, and then our, our trench itself is about five, 550. It's pushed out to about 600. Now, the reason that we make sure that our footings are spot on on a place like this is because we want our houses to last as long as possible where we've got no problems with it. The structure lasts um, without having any big cracks coming through. Well, without having any cracks whatsoever come through. Uh, you need to make sure that you get your site classified by a soil tester. Now, it's really important that you do that. We actually had a couple of problems on here where the, the house itself has been here for 110 years um, and the tests that we got were inconsistent with each other. So we got a soil test out the front and then one out the back. And then we looked at the inconsistency in that test and we got a separate soil tester to come out and redo it again and gave us a second test. And that showed us that the front had actually been landscaped. Out the back, we've had an extension done in the past 20 years. So the soil out the back's been moved around a bit. And then you've got the soil under the house, which hasn't been touched for 100, 110 years. So by getting a couple of different tests, we're able to see which soil we've got, where we've got it, and how best we can make our foundation suit the use of what we're trying to build right now. And how that will follow on, suiting the uses of the family yeah, for as long as possible. If you've got any other questions or queries about foundation work, let me know. I'm going to show you another video soon enough about restumping a house. I get quite a few questions about restumping. So I'll show you about restumping. I'll show you about water levels. If you haven't seen our video about how to make up a water level, check that out. Um, but your levels are really important. Your foundations are the most important thing of a house. Um, and then obviously we spend a lot more time on the foundation work than we do on anything else. And that is to make sure that we get it spot on and that way we can build whatever we want on top of it and it'll last the test of time. If you've got any other questions or queries, flick them over. I'll answer any questions you've got. Um, until then, thanks for watching and stay unreal. Banana peel.